Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, William Lees, to another episode of Sports Betting Truth. And today I'm going to answer a question that I see get asked a lot when it comes to sports betting, and that is, what is considered a good ROI when it comes to sports betting? You know what, that's a great question, but for me, the answer to this is pretty simple. I'm not going to make it complex, and that is anything above what you have projected to lose. So if you project to lose like I do, if you're like me when I used to bet on sports and I would put my sports betting losses in my budget, in my budget, I would project myself to lose 100% of the money I bet. Always prepare for the worst case scenario. I've always said, if you cannot afford to lose the money you are betting with, let me rephrase that. If you cannot afford to lose 100% of the money you are betting with, you are betting too much. Only bet with money you are afford to lose. And be honest with yourself, guys. Be honest. For example, when I would go to Las Vegas, I would take, you know, $3,000 with me to bet with, and I assumed that I would lose all $3,000 of that dollars. Did it ever happen? No. But what if I was... What if I was optimistic? What well, was like, you know what? I'm not going to lose all 3,000 of this. I'm going to let me put on my budget that I'll only lose 250 of it, you know. I'll, let's assume that I go like 48% and I lose 250 bucks. There have been trips where I have lost over $1,000 going to Las Vegas betting on sports guys. Always prepare for the worst case scenario. Now, have I ever, have I ever lost more than like I think my worst trip was like $1,300 in losses. No, but you still need to prepare for it and assume the worst. That way, if the worst happens, you are prepared, you are ready, you know that your budget can absorb the blow. Be honest with yourself, guys. Don't be optimistic because I have talked to idiots and I've seen idiots post on message boards and Reddit and all this stuff that say, they include sports betting as an income source in their budget. So they're like, yeah, I, I budget, you know, that I'll win about, you know, $500 a month betting on sports. Don't be stupid, guys. Sports betting 100% is a liability. I don't care if you have a tried and true model. I don't care if you are on a five year in a row win streak. I don't care. Always assume that this is going to be the day the bottom falls out and everything collapses, the train derails, and you just become a losing machine. Always assume that. That way, like I said, you can absorb the blow if worst case scenario happens and you can keep on chugging. Only bet with money you can afford to lose. It's not that hard. But anyway, to answer the question on this video, like I said, anything that is greater than what you have budgeted to lose, and if you follow my advice, you budget that you're going to lose everything. So say your bankroll is $5,000 in your budget spreadsheet, you say you're going to lose $5,000, and if you only lose $4,000, that's considered good. If you only lose $4,900, that's considered good. But anything above the worst case scenario that you have planned for, in my opinion, is considered a good ROI. Now, I'm sure there's going to be people who are going to want to answer this question by giving some positive number like 5%, 10%. If you want to make an actual positive ROI, do not make sports betting your vehicle to do that. Don't be stupid. Even if you do everything right, even if you watch all my videos, even if you follow the best advice and build a good model and spend hours and hours and weeks and weeks and months and months and years and years refining your approach to sports betting, even if you do all that, you are still probably going to lose. And I, when I say probably, I don't mean like 50-50. I mean like even if you do everything right, I still think you have a 95% chance of losing betting on sports. The 99% number that I built this channel on is more for everybody, the entire population that bets on sports. But if you separate and isolate those who do everything right when it comes to modeling and doing the right things, taking the right approaches, I mean, you still only have about probably a 5% chance of winning long term, even if you do everything right. So you are going to likely lose. Okay. Are you following me? So if you are trying to make a positive ROI, go to a financial uh, advisor, go to the stock market. There are better ways to get a positive ROI than sports betting. I do not believe sports betting should be anybody's plan, even if it's a plan C, to get a positive return on investment because it is very, very, very hard. No, no, no. Sports betting is not an investment. 
ignore the people who say sports investing or part-time income betting on sports. Those people are idiots. Ignore them. Ignore the touts who guarantee they'll win you money. Ignore those people. Sports betting 100% is a liability. It is an expense. It is something that you are likely going to spend money on and lose money on instead of earn money on, guys. Don't be stupid. Don't be a fool. Get those dreams out of your head that you're going to turn sports betting into an income and look elsewhere if you're trying to get a positive ROI. So to wrap up this video, guys, uh, again, the answer to that question is anything above what you've projected that you're going to lose. And if you're 100% honest with yourself and do it right, you're going to project yourself to lose 100% of what you bet. So anything better than that, in my opinion, is considered a good ROI. The real question is, how much can I actually afford to bet with? And that's a subject for another time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. It really does help spread the word of this video to drown out all the garbage tout video, uh, YouTube channels out there and garbage YouTube channels when it comes to sports betting out there. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you again next time for more sports betting truth from yours truly, William Lease.